Believe it or not, we cats are very complex creatures. We are capable of deep emotions and there are things that emotionally hurt a cat, just as there are with humans. By the way, it's me, Coffee Cat here, with the best, interesting, cat facts for you. Let's dive right in. Later in the video I will give some tips on how to help, from a cat's point of view. While cats are often seen as independent and aloof, they can experience emotional distress just like people can because of the kind of things I'm about to list. Neglect or lack of attention. Cats need social interaction and affection from their human companions. Prolonged neglect can lead to depression and anxiety. As sad as it is for a cat, people do get really busy and they walk in and out without paying attention to the lovely animal they once had time for. We really love you and need affection and play and it can be deeply felt if we are consistently ignored or overlooked. Sudden changes in environment. Cats are creatures of habit and can become stressed by abrupt changes in their living space, routines, or family dynamics. Our daily, normal, routine is very important to us. Let's face it cats are control freaks. Change is disturbing and we will need some help to adjust. Your reassurance and love will be needed. Loss of a companion. Whether it's a human or another pet, cats can grieve the loss of a close companion. We cats are very sensitive and we will certainly notice if someone is missing from our lives. We are sure to feel grief, a bit like you will. Punishment or aggression. Yelling at, hitting, or using aggressive methods to discipline cats can cause fear and emotional trauma. Yes, it will certainly do that. Sometimes humans get frustrated with us, but physical punishment and yelling do nothing but widen the gap between cat and human being. Inconsistent care. Irregular feeding times, inconsistent litter box cleaning, or unpredictable attention can cause anxiety. We felines do like a clean area and for food to be somewhat predictable. We can simply get lonely and sad, particularly if things change abruptly. Lack of mental stimulation. Boredom can lead to depression in cats. They need toys, play sessions, and environmental enrichment. Forced interactions. Cats prefer to initiate contact on their own terms. Forcing them into unwanted interactions can cause stress, a lot of stress. This can make us very unlikely to trust you or want to be with you and that would be a terrible shame. Separation Anxiety Some cats become very attached to their owners and can experience distress when left alone for long periods. Even though you might return, we will definitely feel sad while you are gone and we might feel a lot of anxiety every time you go out the door, from then on. Introduction of new pets Bringing a new animal into the home without proper introduction can cause territorial stress and anxiety. We are very protective of our kingdom and this may cause some fights and unrest in the household. I'll explain about some helpful preventative measures soon. Lack of safe spaces Cats need places where they can retreat and feel secure. Not having these can lead to chronic stress. This is the very reason you will find your cat under the bed, in a cupboard or behind the TV cabinet. Loud noises or chaotic environments Cats have sensitive hearing and can become distressed by loud or unfamiliar sounds. This is why I don't like plumbers, grocery delivery, parcels coming or anything like that. New noises, different voices and changes, yuck. Being rehomed or abandoned. Cats form strong attachments to their homes and families. Being given away or abandoned can be deeply traumatic. This is the worst thing that can ever happen to us cats. I hope this never happens to you or to me. It's important to remember that cats are sensitive creatures with complex emotional lives. Providing a stable, 
Loving environment with proper care and attention is crucial for their emotional well-being. So, how do you help your cat find happiness again, when they're suffering emotionally? To make your cat happy when he's suffering after a trauma, try the following approaches. Spend quality time with your cat through gentle petting, cuddling, and interactive playtime. This helps strengthen your bond and provides comfort. Establish a consistent daily routine for meals, playtime, and cuddles. Cats thrive on predictability, which can help them feel more relaxed and secure. Provide environmental enrichment with toys, scratching posts, and perches near windows. Rotate toys regularly to maintain interest and stimulation. Consider using pheromone diffusers or sprays like Fellaway, which can have a calming effect on cats. Offer small treats at regular times to give your cat something positive to anticipate. Create a safe, quiet space where your cat can retreat when feeling overwhelmed. This could be a cozy bed in a peaceful corner. Here's a really important thing. Please don't, no matter the circumstances, decide to let an indoor-only cat suddenly live outside. An indoor cat may very well have no idea how to navigate the world outside. They may get hit by a car, get lost, be taken by a stranger or hurt by someone cruel. I have heard stories, terrible stories, of these things and I beg of you, do not simply put your cat out, thinking it will be better for them. It won't. It will, of course, stress and upset your feline all the more. Changes like this can only lead to worse things happening and it frightens me just thinking about it. In time, your busy life will change again and when you look around and your cat is nowhere to be found, you might never forgive yourself, for that split-second decision. If the emotional distress persists, Consult your veterinarian to rule out any underlying health issues and discuss potential treatments, including supplements or medications for anxiety if necessary. Remember to be patient and never punish your cat for anxious behavior, as this will only increase fear and stress. With consistent care and attention, you can help your cat feel happier and more secure. Excellent advice! Please avoid the hurt in the first place if you can, but if not, just be there for us. Introduce new pets little by little, and give us good places to hide if we feel the need. More importantly, just love us. We really do want to be close to you. Whatever else happens, please don't forget us in your busy lives. We will be there for you in your stressful times too and the bond we share will only be strengthened if we're here for each other. Lots of love, Coffee Cat. <laughs>